Hello there. Hi. I miss you. Well, hey there. It's been uh, quite a little bit of a moment since I uploaded here. I knew I needed a break after my last video, and I planned on taking like a couple weeks off, but little did I know what life had in store for me. Because the moment I stopped, my body was like, hey, you've done too much. We're tired. You must stop now. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 hold on. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. All right. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I still want to make stuff. YouTube is a thing that you have to keep going. The train has to keep going. We got to keep going. My body was like, no, you did too much. You put us through too much. You're going to sit there. And you're not going to be able to do anything. And you're not even going to enjoy it because you did so much that now it's a forced rest. Hmm? Deal with that. And I was just like, no, please. I, I just, I, I'll be slower, I promise. And it was like, no, too late. Suffer for three months. No! <laughs> so, th three months later, here we are. <laughs> Hopefully this sticks because I do miss you guys and I do want to make stuff, so <laughs> let's get into it. So, in this video, I've made it the number one rule that the video that I come back to has to be something that I'm really, really looking forward to make. And I was scrolling the Instagrams and I came across this artist who makes the most delightful, delectable, precious little artwork of these little woodland animals I have ever seen. And I just, oh, the inspiration was palpable. So I slid into their DMs and I was like, hey, you make some absolutely adorable things. Can I, can I get a little something, a little something, something, do a little something, something? And they're like, oh my God, heck yeah. Oh uh, yeah, absolutely. And I was like, oh my God. Heck yeah, let's do it. So we are going to be making an absolutely adorable, very whimsical little adventure raccoon dude. And it's going to be absolutely awesome and adorable. And I'm so excited. So let's go. We're back, baby. <laughs> Step one, get supplies. Aluminum foil, clay, and finally, sculpting tools. Thumb of approval. I'm not going to lie. I really miss being chaotic. Although the cleanup for chaos. Not that fun, not that fun. How long has it been, Karen? So it's been 15 d days since past a month. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been a month and 15 days. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you may or may not be wondering why I have one singular nail <laughs> painted. Well, let me cut back to a flashback of why it now looks like this. Yeah, see this? This is very unattractive. Um, if you're gonna play with fake tattoo ink, uh, maybe wear gloves. So, uh, we had fun with like fake tattoo ink and then I got it all over my hand because I wasn't smart and I didn't wear a glove. I don't think this little green nail is gonna last this video, let me tell you. People might just have to deal with the fact that my nail looks dirty. <laughs> I promise it's not. We are shaping the tin foil armature. I'm probably not in frame that you get to deal with. Hey, real talk, real talk. Why does it look like uh, Timmy and Tommy? It does not. And how does it sound look like? Wait, is it? Uh, is this almost the size of my hand, and this is just a foil. All right, bringing out the big guns. I missed. I missed. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> it's getting worse. Wait. There we go. <laughs> yeah, first try, everybody. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Do you wish to tell the folks at home where we've been for the last month and a half? Also, like, I realized how burnt out I was and I realized how much I was just making things that I thought would get views. Like I should have known that I was gonna burn myself out this way because I wasn't making anything. Like I didn't hate per se what I was doing, but I didn't like it. I would also like to interject here that while some of the concepts I genuinely liked and was excited to do, I never gave myself to like fully detail them how I want and enjoy the process. And so they always ended up half done or things I didn't end up liking because I couldn't go back and change it. So I ended up not liking any of it. Okay, let's get back to me ranting. And I'm just over it. 
I'm ready to do stuff that I want to do and I may take a hit from the algorithm but I have to do it for me and you guys I know you guys prefer like ideas that I come up with on my own anyway so I think it'll be a win-win it might be rough in the beginning but I think ultimately it'll be very beneficial it just brings us back to the old days where everything was a mess <laughs> and I mean that never really stopped but it was more of a mess <laughs> gotta make that snoot Oh look, it's already coming off. That, that's a that's a raccoony snoot. With that snoot all planned out, it was time to move on to the eyes. I tried to go a little bit more realistic, but eh, it wasn't really working. I think I'm just gonna have to like manually sculpt in the eyes. Like these are too small, and these are too big. I can give them a shot, but I'm having a feeling that I'm just gonna have to manually sculpt them, which is fine. But we'll see how that goes. Lo and behold, of course, those giant eyes came in clutch once again. I, I really need to do a video where I'm not constantly using them suckers. But they always seem to work because I always make things more gigantic than I mean to, especially in this case. But with that all figured out, I got the eyes all done and gave it an adorable little sweet expression. Mm, it's so cute. Okay, now that we have the shape mostly roughed in, I mean, like, we kind of know what we're doing at this point. Like, we got, we're getting the shape there. It's not looking like an absolute mess. It's looking pretty rough, but we're getting somewhere. Now it's just smoothing all this all out so it doesn't look so janky. So, okay, I'm gonna do that now. Do you see how big this is getting? This is such a bad idea. But it's coming along so well, and I actually can see the raccoon vibes already. I just need to do the nose, and then his little ears, and they're gonna be so cute, and I already know, and I'm already just in love with this, even though I'm going to regret this very later on. <laughs> this is such a bad idea. What a video to come back to, making something so gigantic. But I can just see the whimsy, and I can just see how cute you're gonna be. This is not the project to start after you haven't done stuff in a month. But we're doing it. We're doing it. All right, let's go. All right, we must do the Googles of the raccoon snootums. <laughs> Look at these little faces. <laughs> I love raccoons so much. The one thing that has not changed is how even can I get this nostril? We aim for somewhere in the family nostrils, okay? We don't even aim for sisters. We just aim for hopefully you apart. You a part of the family. <laughs> yeah, they might be second cousins, but <laughs> it looks like there's somewhat, somewhat in the realm. When you're here, you're family. Oh, 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 yep, there it is. Not even. We'll make it work. We'll, we'll even it out. It's fine. It's fine. Don't, don't you worry. A little lower. A widow wine. Go on right here. Mm, look at that nose. Perfection. I don't know what it is about when I'm making the mouth expression. I always have to add a chin. Like I make it too flat that the little guys never have a chin and I always have to go back and add it. What am I doing out here? Hello, it's me. All that was left for this little dude was to make his widow little ears, which I tried not making super bear-like, but I think they ended up bear-like anyway. But I mean, it's close enough close enough that is a nice ear look at that little dude now i just had to repeat it we have to shoot closer for sisters this time okay we can't go just somewhere in the family line all right we got to get a little closer <laughs> hey if you ask me they are much closer related sisters maybe even twins yeah probably not though the head is done at this point, so now it was just time to make his grabby little hands and feet. Which was pretty easy, I just took a glob of clay, kind of cut slits for the fingers with scissors, and kind of shaped it up a little bit.
want to have the vibes, the essence of Le Grabby Hands, which I think they're coming along nicely. Hello, darkness, my old friend. The bottom feet were practically the same. Just start with the blub, cut some snips in with the scissors and shape them on out. With maple all sculpted, it's finally time to move on to ASMR armature time. If you don't know, this is the same armature I used for Thembershod, except this time I had a tool instead of dealing with whatever the heck I dealt with last time. Okay, I, I, uh, I didn't expect it to work well. Right? Just be my friend. I don't think it's going well. It's not. It's not, it's not going well. <laughs> oh, come on. No. Thank you. Hand. Oh god, it's almost like he's doing a dab. Come on. Hand. Foot. Sarah, this thing is giant. I don't believe you. Here, let me just show you the armature. <laughs> I may have made him a little bit too big. I can't even have him in frame. I have to like raise him and lower him so you can get the full he large, him baby. Sarah has made a joke about putting him in a baby carrier and me carrying him around. And you know, I was like, there's no way it's gonna be big enough to be a baby. I believe her now. Okay, but now we have to build up the body of this little baby, and we're gonna use quilt batting for that as we normally do. So let's break that out. All right, this is gonna be really janky. This is probably not gonna be aesthetically pleasing because of how gigantic and floppy it'll initially be. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's, some, that's some pretty big flops. Just know this is about to be flop town and I'm sorry for the footage you're about to witness. And thus began the troublesome process of building up this boy's body. He was just so unwieldy and trying to get the angles to like put the quilt batting on was just, it was a mess. Okay, it was a mess. So I cut most of it out. I am so very sorry. Like I thought Thembashard was bad because he was the most chunkiest thing I've ever made, like to date. And then this guy came along and just blew him out of the water. And was just like, <laughs> watch me. <laughs> He's got like no cheeks, so I'm just gonna, just gonna pad his butt a little bit, you know? Give him a little chunk in the trunk. You got no booty, my dude. All the raccoons got a booty. Now he got, he got a little tush, just, just a little one. I even zoomed out. I, you're just so rotund, my little dude. Got some thighs on that boy. Damn boy, he thick. Okay, we need to we need to slap some fur on you. Come on, my child. Look at like I can just Do you see this? I can just carry him away. Oh my god. Bye, have a great time. As per usual, here on this channel, we take the simplest, easiest route when it comes to sewing. In this case, I just cut some really random shapes, pray that I don't break the armature while I try to shove it so it works correctly, and then just trim it down so it's nice and snug and sew down the middle. See? Not complicated at all. I tell you, things get real questionable when you saw around that butt. Now that the body has been fluffified, it's time to fluffify all the clay bits. Boop. Step one, base coat everything because gray is a very unflattering color. Step two, pop pads because toe beans. Step three, fur. For furring, we do the same as sewing, where we just take some random shapes and just glue it on there and hope that we glue it the right direction. The amount of times I've glued the fur in the wrong direction is more than I'd like to talk about. Now I will fully admit, 
He looks a little janky right now because he's done sewing and I've done all the furring. <laughs> I don't even have words and it's just so floofy. I can't even, <laughs> you can barely see his eyes. Father help. All right, we gotta trim this mess. Cause right now, probably looks like several characters that have very floofy mustaches. Welcome to KP's Grooming Salon, where we can never work with actual animals because we would probably injure them. As always, the real MVP is the pet shaver. Just really helps me take off all the bulk fur evenly, smoothly, and not jagged like it would normally be. Even though the pet shaver is a wonderful, beautiful device, we do still have to go back in a little bit to trim up and make everything look nice and neat. Here is the baby, all trimmed up, looking adorable. And this part especially, it just like reminds me of a teddy bear. Now we need to give him those raccoon markings so that he looks absolutely complete, especially around your eyes. You need your little thief mask. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do right now. So it's time to break out the airbrush. the airbrush really made this guy look like a raccoon. Like it kind of had the vibes, kind of looked like a bear, kind of maybe looked like a dog. But with those markings, it just really gave the essence of the raccoon. And I absolutely love how this turned out. Like I know it's not the typical gray raccoon, but I just thought a little warm brown, just whimsical little raccoon would just be, mm. and I think it turned out really nice. I love it. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I gush over these eyes so much. I love how they turned out. It looked a little questionable right here, I understand, but like, oh, they just turned out so cute and I'm proud of myself for like getting the little iris colors nice and poppy with that yellow and I just got it to like the gradient. I just, I really like it, okay, okay? I just, mm, it just turns out so good and I love it. Oh, <laughs> oh, I love it. Mm. I can't wait to put resin on it because it's gonna pop and be so glossy. <laughs> and then we beam of light. Bing. And beam of light again. Bing. You know I also had to make that nose moist. Okay, so now that He's all done with airbrushing and like painting his little eyes and stuff. Would you focus? Thank you. Now we have clothes to put on him. Now, I know some of you guys are just so upset that you don't get to see the amazing <laughs> seamstress abilities I have. Disappointed! But I don't trust myself to make overalls for this little dude. And so we're gonna we're gonna do a test fit, and then like maybe I'll make some alterations. But uh, yeah, sorry to disappoint you, but I I don't hate myself that much. Look at this distinguished gentleman. I I literally have made a toddler. I cannot believe he actually fits in baby clothes. I think I want to adjust his overalls a little bit. I don't like how. Like it's so far up here and I want to put something in his pocket and just kind of do some overall shading because you look too clean, buddy. And you would definitely be adventuring and you'd, you'd rough yourself up just a wee bit. So I think I'm gonna do a little bit of airbrushing, try to cinch it in. So I had this spare overalls because these were too big, but I liked the little corduroy pattern that it had. So I actually cut this apart and I attached some of the pieces onto this overalls that does fit, just so it gives it a little bit more texture, looks a little bit more fancy. And I'm gonna color these parts darker so that it has a little bit of contrast and it's gonna look really snazzy. And of course, we're gonna airbrush and stuff. I also have to airbrush the turtleneck. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I always forget how just airbrushing a little bit of shading can really level up a piece like this outfit was really cute but like once I shaded it and gave it a little bit more texture and like it just I don't know how to say it, like came more to life it just suited him more and it just looked so much better I, I don't know how to explain it I don't know if any of you guys understand what I'm trying to say but like it just it, it did something you know 
look how absolutely adorable these came out. Just a little bit of contrast, a little bit of texture, a little bit of airbrushing here and there for that mm, shading. It just looks so good and so cute. But we have the pocket here. I'm thinking we should add a little friend in there. And I think Maple over here would absolutely adore a little froggy friend. So we're gonna sculpt a little froggy friend that fits in here and it's just gonna look absolutely cute. So let's go do it right now because I can't wait. I need your help. You need to kill me. Sculpting our little frog friend was really easy, especially since I didn't have to sculpt half of it because you only really needed to see his head and his little arms. I mean, really, his main body is like a flat noodle so it wouldn't fall out of the pocket. It's uh, really giving frog popsicle vibes and I don't know how I feel about that. But it made it really easy to paint since I just had something to hold on to. Uh, that's so weird. But he turns out cute! <laughs> Look at- oh my god! Look at him in the little pouch to just little frog friend! I haven't given him a name yet, so somebody should come up with an adorable little name for him and then tell me so that that can be his name, because right now I don't have a name for you. The raccoon has a name, but you, I don't know what to name you, but there's one more thing left that I want to do. I think it would benefit from a little bit of extra detail, and I want to embroider on it. I don't know how that's going to go, but I'm thinking like a little acorn or like a little maple leaf because his name is Maple. Maybe little mushrooms, I don't know. I just think that'd be a really cool idea. It'd be a really cool detail. I think I want to do that, but I don't know how to embroider. So we're gonna need to do a little bit of dabble first before we get on into that. So let's do that. First step, gathering all the thread colors you want to use. Step two, struggle with the embroidery hoop because you have no idea how it works. Step three, sketch out your design so you actually know where you're supposed to be embroidering at. Step four, do the thing. And I have to say, it didn't come out perfect, but I am so incredibly proud of myself for like tackling this head on, not knowing a darn thing of what I was doing, but just giving it a shot so I could add a little bit of extra detail and ugh. I'm so proud of myself that I took on something I never knew how to do and I just gave it a good old college try. I mean, look at that. I even got the little acorn texture on the top. Oh, it looks like so good. And then, of course, I did add the maple leaf, but also, of course, it's out of focus. All that was left to do was to dress our little maple friend and go look at the final montage. 